Aquarius, welcome to your past life reading. And this is a retrograde specials, okay, for singles. Let's take a look. What are the things that you need to learn? And who's your soulmate? When are you going to be meeting them? And if ever you already found them, or what are your karmic debts? What are the things that you need to learn and able for you to find your real destiny? Oh. Some Aquarius have some issues being a mother. Or they are more into their mothers. They're more close. And I feel like you're also... Oh, you have background in uh, uh, being a Greek Roman. Hmm. Let's take a look at your love life. What really happened? Pulling up more clarification cards about your real soulmate. Because it seems like this is somebody that you were once engaged, got married to, or want to marry. Right? Alright, so right now, hmm. you're in your first life, you're actually a woman, okay, and you're a mother, but then you were stripped off from your, uh, from your child, because you went straight to, you know, to imprisonment out of something and I feel like you were you lived once as a, a male or female in your past life so right now there's a possibility that you're also bisexual and you're into both the sexes okay and uh, I feel like you've already ascended but then you were sent back here on earth for a reason and for you to lead and you left a uh, you left a particular situation in the past because you can't really handle okay the situation especially that you've gone through such poverty and you have so much fears okay you've lived in so much phobia and you also have a very fragile health you were once a greek roman so you're also crazy about greek mythology and whatever that's been happening in your life right now it's all written in the stars okay now Okay, ships. It looks like your soulmate is a water sign, and this is the the reason why. Okay, you also have talent in music and arts. Uh, you've died in transportation. You're very close to nature, or you love being out there in the nature, and you also have talent in writing. I feel like you love keeping a diary. Okay, you love writing your own journal, and someday you can also yeah, see. You may also write. Uh, you may also share that to you know to other people. Write a book altogether. Now, you were um, it's like you were uh, s separated or segregated from your own child because whatever you have gone through in the past, it is highly forbidden. Okay, I feel like you um, you carried your baby f out of wedlock and. Which, wherever country you came from in the past, it is highly forbidden, okay? I feel like it's more of a religion-based. So, you were punished because you, you know, you, um, you've had a baby out of your, well, whether you're not yet married or with somebody that you're not yet married or not your husband. So, you were punished. And then, 
you never really took care of your you know of your children or you never took care of your child or your baby because uh, they the, the government or the police have already sent it out for an orphanage and somebody have already you know took care of it so you never get the chance to see your child and every time that there is a very difficult situation you always escape okay because you have escaped from your poverty you have tried to escape from a v very difficult situation in the past and you have lived in so much fear because you are so afraid that what if you get caught again and because of that you did not have a very you know good health and you have a fear in big body of water okay it's like you hate going out in the sea or cruise ships or being you know um well crossing the sea as well or even boating and your love life right now is being affected because of your historical pattern of your past life and you have talent in music and arts you you know you love playing guitar and other musical instruments you die during the transportation or during your journey one of your journeys you love being uh, close to animals or you love a very simple kind of living or you once dream of being at a farm because you know you were you were once a barn you were once in the barn or working in the barn before and uh, you've dreamt of having one for yourself so i feel like you're one of those workers you know in a farm and uh you have talent in writing it's like you have a lot of life experiences you have rich imagination and creativity but you just want to keep it to yourself and you need to be a little bit more optimistic or positive in your romantic life keep an open mind the one that you really want to marry or the one that you were once engaged or married to is actually the right one for you okay you've already met your soulmate this is somebody that you once had a very um like a very strong feelings for and somebody that you still long or somebody that you've been longing and when you call that your soulmate you know it's like you're very thankful that the universe just dropped them in your in your lap and uh, you know they you finally have them but then there are some inevitable circumstances in life that you cannot really you know control so uh, there uh, there are some sort of a separation that already happened but this person lives in another place or another city and uh, there are some red flags because you're a little bit paranoid okay you do have some big trust issues but you need to ask for some help of your friends to get to know the truth and you need to let go of the control issues now what are the things that you need or that you're supposed to be right now you are very well aware of the things that need to take place and the changes that needs to happen in your life and there are some you know there are some opportunities that can land you in the field of law enforcement banking and finance uh, military legal you know and uh, stuff like that and I feel like you know like a nonprofit organization as well that is related to human rights uh, you may also have a um, you know like a career into this path and you are on the right path and you also need to learn how to write your own life you know is the with a diary that you've been writing before you can turn it in a book follow your heart's desires only you have the control to find the infinity you have a very creative mind and expression and counseling you're a good listener and advisor and you need to talk to your angels every time that things go a little bit difficult for you so I feel like at this point, the reason why you got incarcerated in, th in the past is because you got involved with somebody who just, um, it's like you fell in love with that person and hope that things will, you know, pan out the way how you really wanted it to be. But then that person just took off and ran away and now you were caught in that kind of difficult situation and you blame that person, okay, for being in that uh, imprisonment okay and that person never really showed up until that right after um you get freed which is you have lived in such poverty um you tried to escape from it but then you know you were caught up in a very bad health so you died with such a broken heart and such disappointments in life and uh, you know you you try to put the blame onto others which is, you know, 
it should have been happening. I mean, it shouldn't have happened if you just been a little bit careful, because you're the one who's more aware of the of the legal, um, you know, legal stuff before. If you would get pregnant out of uh, wedlock, so. The lesson for you here is whatever you put yourself into, whatever situation you, you got yourself into, you just need to watch yourself. You just need to watch your step, okay? Know the consequences. Study the consequences first and do not put the blame onto others, okay? You need to be a little bit more responsible to, into your own actions and try to put a solution into your own problem and don't rely that other people will be there to pick you up. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this month and for this retrograde Aquarius. If you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings, blessings to you.